before I start, you know, I, I know there are going to be people that are going to get mad at me because, you know, their, their favorite genre got placed low. So uh, I'd like to add, uh, this is a completely unbiased list. Yeah, everything on here is 100% true. If you end up not liking the results of this tier list, tough shit, buddy. Go suck your dad's titties to go calm you down. But first, a word from our sponsors. Hey, buddy, you getting picked on in school? Yeah. Good. I can't help you with that. I and mean, you know what I can help you with? Fast VPN speeds, safe browsing, 24-7 customer support. That's right, NordVPN. Anytime you go online, shop online, eat shit and sleep, you're going to need NordVPN. NordVPN allows you to virtually be almost anywhere in the world, all at the click of a few buttons. The, 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 the Netflix blocks up in your country? NordVPN says, no it's not, bitch. Run them damn pockets. Hackers try to steal your information when you're on some sketchy ass Wi-Fi. NordVPN hits them with the biggest cock block of all time. It's NordVPN free. No, 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 no. But it might as well be with their new two-year plan. That's right, $3.71 a month. That's only half the cost of a fast food meal. And then after that, you get an additional four months for free? But all I have is an Android phone. Doesn't matter. NordVPN's available for every device. You got Android, iPhone, Windows, Mac. You got that new uh, that new robo dick with, with thermal heating and Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, they, they got they got NordVPN for that too. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Please click the link in the description and use code kneecaps to save you money at checkout. All right now, on to the video. We're going to be focused on the main genres of anime. All right, shonen, slice of life, seinen, mecha, romance, isekai, and then uh, we got a mystery genre that'll be revealed later. Starting this out, we got shonen. F tier. Did you just hear that? I know I did. Now that was the sound of My Hero Academia fans taking a break uh, f from jacking off the 14 year old children to click my dislike button. Let me explain, alright? Shonen, it's not that it's a bad genre, right? It's that it's hard to make a shonen that works and it doesn't feel like something you've seen 80 times already, you know? The majority of shonen, you know, e even the good ones, either A, have parts or characters in it that feel like uh, a paraphrased version of another anime that came before it, and or B, contain the same conventional tropes that get overused to the point of satire. Uh, strong knucklehead guy that that lives for the, the thrill of fighting. Loud anime character that yells every 17 to 22 seconds and exists as the main source of comedic relief. Cutesy, shy anime girl that that likes the main character and, and for some reason he's, he's just too much of an idiot to realize it until later on in the series. Uh, just to be clear, an anime having conventional tropes or you know you know taking inspiration from another doesn't make it bad, right? It all depends on how fleshed out a character is alongside them taking on that necessary role within their respective anime. A, a lot of good well-known shonen do a decent job, you know, adding personality to characters without you feeling like the character exists solely to fill that needed niche. B but the vast majority of shonen, the vast majority they don't have characters. And said so they have these empty shells, the, the, these carcasses that lack any sort of substance or individualism. You can sit down on a sofa and watch half of the entire shonen genre. And afterwards, you feel like you learn nothing new. Romance. Now, uh, as you guys know, uh, I, I get no pussy whatsoever. And, and I'm pretty sure after meeting with my therapist work. next week, he's we'll probably going to diagnose me with being an like incel. All right. So therefore, romance gets a default F tier. Uh, hold up. I'm <laughs> My bad, that's not fair. I meant F minus tier mecha. I've only seen like one or two mecha animes, you know, both of which I've enjoyed thoroughly. Uh, in fact, best thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I you see, the thing about mecha anime is that it appeals to a pretty dedicated portion of the anime community, a, a very dedicated portion of the anime community so so let's say that for instance i did have some sort of grievances with mecha anime uh wink wink you know i i wouldn't want to risk saying that on my youtube channel and waking up the next day to some dude outside my house in his his megazon gigabon collector's item it is his 200 billion dollar real life mecha that comes equipped with working photon blasters I, i'm not taking my chances mecha s tier slice of life Ever since I was really young, I used to think Slice of Life was for people that were depressed or like ran into some rough patches into their life and needed a, a good fix of happiness. Because everything about it to me as a child, you know, though I loved happy endings, it was too cherry and, and, and too feel good to the point where I thought if you had a somewhat healthy mental state and you watched it, it'd be like drinking juice that had too much sugar in it. But now that I'm older you know, and, and I'm a much wiser person, I now know that 
I, I was absolutely right. There's a good reason why I have Nichijou and Psyche K as my two favorite anime. You know, while yeah, you know, Naruto and Bleach were the anime that brought me into the anime world, Nichijou and Psyche were, were the ones that any time I ran into some bullshit in life, it, it, it was always there for me to just sit back and watch this other world where everything's just much happier. But it wasn't just that it provided an escape, more of like, a different interpretation of the world you know while you sit there being exhausted with how monotonous the world's been feeling lately you know you're all glum down in the dumps the anime beams these thoughts into your head like look at how funny the world can be if just us as regular people living in this verse acted in this silly way look at how much more appealing this regular world is when when we exaggerate even just this one part of it and then when the final episode happens and you know you start saying your goodbyes to the people that have made you happy for that period in your life you stare at that blank screen and you think to yourself it's all over you know the story it's, it's all over i don't think i'll ever experience this sort of happiness ever again and then you remember wait a minute <laughs> i can just watch it over again okay so this is the elimination round uh right now we have uh three anime genres remaining we have isekai sign-in and, and the mystery genre one of them will gain the legendary triple s rank while two of them will go to the oblivion zone which by the way it is way worse okay this video is getting too fucking long to edit so uh let's let's just skip to what the mystery genre is oh my god bro i don't give a fuck dude so the mystery genre you want to know what it is don't you the triple s tier i mean i, I mean i want to know what it is too i don't even know what it is well here it is my friend maho shoujo magical ball anime I, I mean if the tier list says it i i I guess it has to be true. So, so the appeal to no, Maho no, no, no. is that I heard you from downstairs. You can't just give right. your favorite drama in the triple S tier. Even the Plus best Maho Shoujo. Hold up, one Man, second. Man, I'll be fucking pink.